So this will be three steps. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do is take my change log here. And it's a collection. But I'm going to not only take data from uh, the Lara Lama one, but I'm going to go grab the document uh, repo. So under sources, I can add a, a webhook area. And I'm going to add another webhook source. And this one will be the. Um, this is going to become where I, I get to do, the user gets to do the prompting. And I can use these template props, which will build up over time. Um, but you can do whatever you want with them. In this case, it knows the JSON's coming in. I'm going to do commit, but most people would end up doing a pull request, so it would look a little different. And this prompt seems to work well. I'm going to have a prompt testing button so people can just run them and see. Uh, we're going to have a token here for um, security later on. Uh, you'll see that shortly. But basically, I can change this prompt to take the JSON and do what I want with it. In this case, I want to grab certain fields in the JSON and just return it um, as multi-JSON. So I could return it to so many things. We're going to see in a moment uh, some other um, possibilities. So when I click Save, I now have the GitHub change log, which, you know, let's call this one, I um, uh, have the two of them. All right, so when we go back, we want this one, you know, we're, we're working on this one. So now I have this URL I can put inside of um, uh, GitHub. And I'm going to go GitHub, I'm going to go to the repo, I'm going to go to webhooks, I'm going to add a webhook. Now you can, you can do any uh, of these you want, as long as the JSON coming in you consider. So you can do one for the different JSONs coming in, or you can do the one that you want uh, in particular and do the JSON for that. Um, it's just prompting. I mean, you can open up ChatGPT and just play with the prompt and throw in there the data it's given you and get out what you want by making the prompt. Um, so I'm going to select individual events. I do commits. I don't do pull requests. Uh, so I'm, and it, it's not going to be as awesome for a change log because commit messages can be kind of many and messy in every push. But most people would do a pull request. And then I'm going to add that, and that's about it. Um, I have a commit waiting over here, and that will send data into our system. And while it's doing that, oh, sorry, I want to see here. Let's see, I think we had, I don't know if it happened that quick, hold on a moment. So let's open up the queue just so we can see. Um, we have completed jobs and it's 818. So yeah, it's pretty much that quick. Um, it basically took in the source of the webhook uh, and then it um, vectorizes it, which is key because later on I could chat with it and search and see who did what. Um, I could ask information about it. Later on, this is going to be, I'm going to show how you can use a webhook to do your CMS, where your CMS connects to the system, sends its data in, and now you have a, a, a lot of things because you can react to it. Um, we'll cover that in the next one. But yeah, that was it. That data came in, and you'll see how to do for the next step. Um, now, what do we do with this? Well, in this case, um, I have an output that sends me an email. Um, so now it will send an email, so I could edit it to say send me an email every uh, day or every hour or whatever we want to do. Eventually we want it just to make a release. Uh, and this prompt isn't that good actually, I kind of wanted to fix this. So uh, I wanted to say um, more like that. Um, And you could do a lot of fun things. You could say, hey, summarize this, give me a TLDR of everything, uh, or show me who really stood out this, this um, week, things like that. Uh, and this prompt is just, you can just play around with this in ChatGPT. There's going to be more information here to show you the prompts, to show you the results, to show you what it used, so then you can mess with it in ChatGPT, in Olama, whatever your tools are and um, get it right so that then the system continues to get it right. Uh, so I can send myself an email, and let me go grab that for you. Okay, so then we can see it come in. I wanted to clean up some dummy data I had in there, but we can see it now coming in um, where it breaks it down by the dates and, and just grabs the right data from that pretty nicely. And again, you could do more with it. Um, so that's how quick it was. Um, one, create a source. Two, create an output. Three, or two, and then three, add your webhook, and you're set to go.